Right. First, giving obedience to God. Uh, with Pastor, Pastor Paul, uh, Minister Brumfield, and to all the Oak Ridge uh, family and friends. Amen. Uh, I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to stand before you and give the words of encouragement. Um, I don't necessarily, like, I've been here for the last uh, three opportunities, uh, Sundays, and I don't necessarily know how these work, but uh, I really don't have a scripture or nothing that I'm, I'm going to be coming from. Um, so I'm going to pretty much give it to you. I was giving to me. All right, all right. All right. All right. That's good. All right. Well, first off, um, I just tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, number one is uh, I love movies. Anybody that knows me knows that I absolutely love movies. Every time that I'm free, I'm going to the theater to see something. So uh, my favorite character in all uh, all the films is Sherlock Holmes. Now the thing that I like about Sherlock Holmes is that. He can figure his way out of every situation that he finds himself in. All right. Like, it's been times that I, I see him sitting down, chained up, headed towards the pit of fire, and I just be thinking, yeah, Professor M got it this time. This is the last episode of Sherlock Holmes. But lo and behold, at, at the very end, he always figure out how to break out of his chains and defeat Professor M. Now, uh, that bothered me, because I was always thinking, how could this one man figure every single thing out and never be beat? When I was about 15 or 16, I seen this documentary on Sherlock Holmes. It was with the director, the, uh, the writers, and the producers. And the director said something that kind of intrigued me. He said that I put it in the script that Sherlock Holmes is going to be all right at the end of every episode. He said I put it in the script that all right, he's going to break free from his chains. All right, all right. All right, all right. Now see, as Christians, I know another script. Yes. All right. All right.
see that too often, so go ahead and mark it in the calendar. That was, that was his first sermon right there.